Before I introduce you to my guest today, I thought it would be worthwhile just to give some background on the team, both who they are and also what they do. And firstly, the sign above the door. The sign is clear and it states that the team aims to be the public face of impact housing, making a positive difference to people, <laughs> homes and communities. And also, it might be worthwhile just to outline that the team has 10 members. Firstly, there are five coordinators. Jennifer McLaughlin, Theresa Little, Patricia Goodwin, Morag McCormick, and our guest today, Bill Rushworth. The team also has three admin staff, Gillian Storey, Deborah Hewitson, and Jane Douglas. And the team also has a tenant support worker who's Lillian Baldry and me, Stephen Wilson, the neighbourhood manager. The team is based in both the Salterbeck and Nelson Street offices and also works out of the Eden foyer and are often in other schemes as the coordinators are out and about across the county. It might also be worth mentioning at this point that Morag is due to retire at the end of April. And so good luck Morag in pastures new. And also a warm welcome to the team's new coordinator, Jenny Russell, who will start in the team from the beginning of May. So enough of me, this shows about the neighbourhood team and how they've done during the first 13 weeks of 2013. So Bill, the team delivers a diverse service and it would be good to hear from you about the numbers and also the performance for the first quarter. So I just wonder, could you tell me how the team has done? Certainly. Yes, we do have a demanding job, but in terms of performance against our KPIs, then it has been a very strong quarter. Void performance was excellent in the period. Yeah. The team let 73 homes during this quarter, and this included 20 wonderful new homes yeah. in Kendall and two new homes in Whitehaven. Excellent. This relies on an effective working with our colleagues in housing options, development and voids. And this has been a, a success in quarter one. We set challenging targets at the start of the year that have been achieved. We aim to lose no more than 0.75% of the rent that we are due to collect on void or empty properties. And at the end of March, we had achieved 0.61%. Good performance. We also aim to let all properties within an average time of 15 days. And up until the end of March, we achieved an average of 11 days. Wonderful. Wonderful performance. And I understand that this is amongst the best in the country. So excellent performance for the team, Bill. I just wonder, what about other areas, though? A really important part of the work that the team does is the management and dealing, of, dealing with antisocial behaviour and nuisance. Mm -hmm. In terms of numbers, then from the responses we receive from customers when a case is closed, performance was good in the quarter with over 95% of respondents happy with the service and how we dealt with their cases. The numbers are important, but in terms of the work and outcomes, then the team is also doing well and making a positive difference. All cases are being responded to and dealt with within the time scale set mm -hmm. and the team are working with police and other partners to agree and implement swift actions where, the, where these are needed. In the quarter, this has included injunctions being granted by the court to yep. stop nuisance. Yep. And also we are ending tenancies in cases where the perpetrator is not willing to stop their nuisance behaviour. Good. Yep. Thanks Bill. I just wonder could I maybe come back to the sign above the door and also talk a bit about the success measures. How do you think that's gone in the first three months of 2013? Yes, well as a team we are living the sign. We have seen over 150 tenants in their homes during the period and focus at, the focus of our work has been to see all the people that are now feeling the effects of the bedroom mm -hmm. tax. Yeah. On the visits we have discussed options for people to downsize, referred them to internal teams, given a strong message about rent first, as well as dealing with issues around repairs and asset management. So truly we feel that we are the public face of impact. It's worth mentioning that during the period we have worked with other teams to get 10 families rehoused and downsized and so avoid the bedroom tax. This is a real success and will make the real, a real difference to the reduction of hardship and poverty in those households. We're continuing this work and we will be developing the team's role in relation to the rent first message Important. as well as now planning the next round of tenant visits that will target people of risk at the forthcoming changes to welfare benefits and in particular the introduction of universal credit. Yeah, universal credit, a major change. 
It sounds then like the message above the door shapes the way that the team works and delivers the service. Yeah, and this is across the work that the team does. We've carried out walkabout visits to over 100 schemes in the quarter. And on these we are looking for environmental issues, any asset management concerns, as well as knocking on doors and talking to individual tenants. The outcomes are that we make sure grounds maintenance works are being carried out well, and we raise any issues with asset management. Yep. We're looking for any health and safety and fire safety issues and taking action or passing issues to our colleagues in other teams. Or indeed, to our partner local authorities if there are issues that are their responsibility. Yeah, good. Well, thanks, Bill. And before we finish, I just wondered, could I maybe push you and say a bit more uh, about the other things that you've done and also the success factors and the work that the team has done in the quarter? Yes. Well, we continue to work closely with IFS and we regard it as a success when we make a referral and a family in real crisis are helped with furniture or household goods. Yeah. Yeah. This happens regularly and so we know that as an organisation we're able to make a real difference to people's lives. Also, we continue to develop our neighbourhood work and the team will see this increase in terms of activity and also the emphasis of what we do as a team during the next quarter. Yeah. We will be looking to develop our local plans even further and deliver on some clear and timed projects in local neighbourhoods as well as continuing to develop areas of the Salterbeck 10-year plan. An example of this is the key role in the, the team has played in securing big lottery funding for the food growing project on the estate. And I would just like to add finally that we are working closely with the community and youth team who deliver some pretty exciting projects around training, employability, skills development and support. We are seeing people we have identified going through the service with some real positive outcomes around getting more skills, building their confidence and hopefully securing employment. We see this as something that we will continue to stress and sell to the people that we come into contact with. Clear, yeah? Thank you. Thanks very much, Bill. It was great to be able to hear about how the team has done over the first quarter of 2013 with some real positives, strong performance and really delivering the sign above the door. So that's it from us today. Thanks very much, Bill. Thanks to you for watching. And join us next time. Bye.